conversation between you all three and maybe Brewer as well. What's your perspective on how the play is going to go down in the field? I mean, every week we're going we're gonna to come together as a staff and we're going to talk prior to the game of, okay, here's things we want to get early. Here's what we want to do for openers. We'll script it out. And then between series, we'll kind of do the same thing. Well, there'll be there'll always be a discussion on what did we get the previous series? You know, what kind of adjustments do we need to make? What do we want to get to as far as runs and passes and put them on a sheet to, uh, to get called for the next series? So. Are you making the call from up, down to the quarterback? I will let Coach Fedora answer that question. <laughs> Keith, what do you think uh, Saturday is going to be like for Mitch? Not the game necessarily, but the lead up to the game, the hours before, how he spends his day, all that anxiety. Well, I mean, I think there's a, there's a lot of excitement. Um, I, I think any competitor's probably got a little bit of nerve about him. I mean, shoot, I've been – every game I played in, I had a little nerve going into the game, you know, and I think that's pretty natural. I think it'd be a little strange if you weren't a little nervous, a little excitement. Um, I think a lot of us coaches get the same way. But I, I think Mitch is ready. I think he's excited to go. He's excited for the opportunity. I mean, he, here's a guy that's, he's waited his turn. He's been a great team player for us. He's done everything we've asked. And to be honest with you, I think this team is ready to go out and play with him. I think they're excited to go out and play with him. So I'm not nervous at all for him. I've got all the confidence in the world that he's going to go out there, he's going to do a great job, and he's going to manage again. And we've got a lot of people around him that take the pressure off him. You know, we've got great backs. We've got four returning old linemen. We've got a tight end that's got a lot of experience. We've got a lot of experience on the perimeter with our receivers. So all Mitch has got to do is go out there and, and get the ball to those guys and let them make plays. He doesn't have to do anything fancy, anything special. His splash will be at the end of the game, the efficiency in which he delivers the ball. That's what do you do anything on game day to help him occupy his mind leading into Saturday? Well, we'll, we'll always have a routine um, starting in, in really – starting at the beginning of the week and how we go through a week, exactly what he needs to be watching, exactly what he should be preparing for, the situations he should be watching. His film study through the week all is directed on what's going into practice, what's going into our meetings, and then it continues to build through to game day. I want his input in this game. Plan. I want to know what he's comfortable with, what he likes. So when a play is called on Saturday, in his mind he's going, love the call. I got the answer to this one. I, we got a plenty of calls. We don't want to call something that in his mind goes, ah, I don't like that, why'd he call that one? So getting him to communicate and, and building that communication up to Saturday, I think is, is critical. And then we'll go through, we'll have a test, we'll have tips and reminders that we'll go through, continuing to prepare right up until game day. The thing we always say is the preparation is never complete until that ball that ball's kicked off on Saturday. As it has turned out, how much was the bowl game last year kind of a little, little preparation for you guys with you in the booth and cap down with, with his guys? I mean, obviously with Seth not being there, um, the communication, to be honest with you, it didn't change a whole lot. But for, for all of us, it was probably a good trial run to get in the communication from, from the on the field to the, to the booth, from the booth back down to the sideline. Um, but it wasn't that much different, you know. I mean, it didn't feel different to me. It didn't feel different to Cap, and I don't think it felt any different to Brewer Porter. Um, you know, the, really, the new guy to the mix is Coach Coach Scott, so it'll be his first time with us. But you know, we did a mock game on on Saturday, so he went through the ringer of the the communication and what takes place between series. So we feel like we've got uh, got a pretty good handle on it. And we expect a smooth transition. In your opinion, on the field, how is Mitch different than Marquis? We've heard about the personality differences. Obviously, that's clear. Is there anything from a football standpoint that's different from the two? You can tell us. Um, you know, Marquis made so many plays when plays weren't there. Um, and it wasn't always necessarily the way you draw it up as a coach, but he made things happen when plays broke down. Um, Mitch is a great decision maker. He processes defenses and information really fast and really accurate. So the, the difference, I think, is, is will Mitch play more within the system and make plays within the system, or is Marquise at times ad lived outside of the system? Um, Saturday we'll find out. Uh, but to be honest with you, the offense hasn't changed. The decision-making and the, the coaching of the quarterback position hasn't changed. Their styles may be a little different um, in what they prefer to do or what they rely on as their strengths. But uh, I think the results will be very similar.